Outlander. Okay. All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up cameras so that they swap, so that your animation swaps cameras automatically. Now, I got this um, project open right here as an example to show you what I'm talking about. Now, I have each camera actually tracking the X wings, and then they swap cameras at a specific frame. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the automatic camera swapping but I'm going to use a much simpler scene so that the clutter is not confusing. Alright, now let me go to this other little project that got opened up as an example. As you can see here I have a cube, a cylinder, and a monkey head. And then I have three cameras. Now I have camera 1, camera 3, and camera 2. Now camera 1, that's that's the one that's currently set as active. If I press 0, I will go into camera 1. Now, if I was to press play, of course, nothing happens. It doesn't change. The cameras do not swap. Now, if I want to swap cameras right now, I can come over here to the scene properties tab and then change this from camera one to camera two and then to camera three and that's how I could change the camera manually now you might think you could probably keyframe this to swap at a specific frame but if I was to hover over and press I to add a keyframe it says camera property cannot be animated so that kind of leaves out that idea. So what we need to do, we need to come down here to this timeline and then we need to set up what's called markers in the timeline and the markers essentially uh, mark where we want the cameras to change, where we want a different camera to, be, to become active. And in this case I'm going to have camera one active at frame one and then I want camera two to become active at frame 25 and then I want camera three to become active at frame 50 so I need to go ahead and add some markers I'm gonna add a marker at frame one to add a marker all we need to do is go to what wherever whichever frame we want to add the marker at which in this case I want to add it on frame 1 so I go to frame 1 and then with the pointer hovering over the timeline I press the letter M on the keyboard to add a marker and then I go to frame 25 with the mouse over the timeline press the letter M to add another marker go to frame 50 and then press M to add another marker but now if I go back to the beginning to frame one and press play still nothing happens because those markers have not been assigned to a camera so what I want to do is right click to select this marker and then with with camera one selected up here click on marker and then bind camera to marker now camera one is assigned to this marker and then go to this marker right here and go to essentially move the you know the uh, the timeline marker to frame 25 and select this marker and then select camera 2 and then click marker bind camera to marker now camera 2 is bound to this marker. I do the same thing here. Go to frame 50. Choose camera 3 and then choose marker. Bind camera to marker. And now I have camera 1 assigned here, camera 2, and camera 3. Now if I was to 
go back to the beginning and press play, then the cameras should swap automatically. Simple enough, right? And whenever you combine that with like what I have in this scene, each camera is targeting this empty. Basically, I have, uh, let me let me select one of these cameras so I can show you what I'm talking about. Now this camera, I have a constraint object or modifier to it, or an object constraint rather. And then I, it's a track to constraint and I have it targeting this empty. So this camera is always pointing at this empty. Same way with all of these cameras. So that way, whenever everything's, these X-wings are coming to, are moving throughout the scene, the camera stays pointed at them. That's essentially what's going on. But whenever you combine something like that to the whole marker thing with the camera swap, you come out with something like this. Which, in a lot of ways, it's very, very, makes it so much simpler you know as far as rendering and so forth but anyway if you have any questions about how to create camera markers and then bind cameras to those markers so that you can animate your you know which camera is actually being used if I didn't explain it right leave a question or comment in the uh, comment section of this video and I will try to explain it I hope I didn't confuse you too much. I'm kind of under the weather right now. So I don't feel all that great. But anyway, later people. Thank you for watching this video. Here are four other videos you might like. If you liked this video, please give it a like, share it, or leave a comment. I try to respond to every comment on every video regardless how old the video is. Also, please support your favorite YouTubers by disabling ad blocker. Thanks again. Later.